It's been crazy. I mean, uh, I, I just got out of, I got, got my visa on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I had to hurry up and book a flight here. I got here like three hours before my race. And mm -hmm. it was nice just coming out and getting to the semi finals. It was relieving. Did it, did it affect you? I mean, did you, did you feel less strength than usual? Yeah, yeah, I felt like my glue's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, glad that I came here and I, I, I got the semifinals. That's the main thing. Yeah. What time in Nairobi did you leave? Okay. I left on at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Uh -huh. Yeah, I then took a flight to Doha. Uh, then that was like five hours. And then Doha to Seattle was like 14 hours. And then Seattle to here, one hour. So that's like... 20 hours of were air flight. You, Did you sleep were you, at all on the planes? Were you planes? first yeah, class? Or were you first class or yeah, I, I flew business class from Doha to Seattle. So was, it, was it a flat bed? Yeah, it was a flat. I got some rest. I how could much, have how run how the way I ran. <laughs> I slept for around 9 hours in the 14 hour flight. So that was enough for me. And when you were in the airport, did you do any exercises or anything to stay <laughs> loose in the layovers? Nah, nah, nah. nah cause I couldn't do it in Doha because I had another 14 hour flight. Mm -hmm. So. I was just doing some stretches of the plane and hoping that my body stays in check. And Wait, did you sleep did you well? Oh, go ahead, at what point did you start the process, or did the Federation start the process of getting your visa? We applied for visas, the whole team, on Thursday, the other week. And Thursday? everybody got their visa on Friday, so mine was held back. Okay. I don't know why, but the reasons are known to the embassy. And do we know <laughs> you, why? You you mean, she let Curry never got her, so she's not here. Oh. The 10,000 runners. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but I thought she could have Good in hearts. Yeah. Did so, they say why yours was not approved? No, no, I, I never got any reason. The good thing is I got it. So everything else is fine. Are you, is it, is it troubling to you that, you know, an athlete of your stature has to go through something like that just to come compete? Yeah, yeah it's, it's really disappointing. And I hope they do better next time. Yeah. Because I know they're, under, they're handling, they're hosting the Olympics in 2028. Mm -hmm. So I really hope they learn from this and do it better, much better next time. You, you seem very relaxed about things. And I saw that someone sent me a picture when you landed in Eugene. <laughs> instead of running here, you even talked to the media there. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, in life you have, you, you can't force yeah. issues. You can't. I learned that you have to relax in every situation so that things can work out. So that really helped. So I'm glad I get here, got here, relaxed, and just ran through and go to the semi final. So did you come straight from there, from the airport to here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I, have, I don't. I've not even checked into my room, so I'm going to do that after this. <laughs> who? So, so like, who, who is the body that needs to, to learn? Was it Oregon 2022? Was it World Athletics? Was it USATF? Like, like who's kind of the person? The embassy, that was... actually. The embassy are the ones who are supposed to give a visa to athletes. Yeah. So. Yeah. I hope they do that better next time. The American Embassy in Canada. I mean, there's been people um, in all, all African countries have had a lot of problems with immigration and these visa issues. You know, not athletes, just people from every day. Is, is that, you know, something that you were aware of at all? And is this, do you think kind of shine a light on that a little bit? Um, I've never been in such a situation before, so it's, it's a learning process. I mean, you know, as an athlete, you expect anything. Yeah. <laughs> so this, one was, this was not an exception. So we hope next time it will be better. Yeah. How much of a gap was there between you arriving at the stadium today and your race? Uh, five, that's three hours. Three hours, yeah. Okay, but you, so you were here three hours before your race yeah, at the five, stadium? Yeah, five hours. Oh, okay. As a, <laughs> as a medal contender, how do you rebound from this and make sure that tomorrow you're not thinking about the yeah, travel anymore? The main thing is that I'm here. That's the positive thing about it. So it's just to focus on the semifinals, get some rest, and then see what happens tomorrow. What did you think of the other guys in the 100 today? There were some fast times. Yeah, there were crazy fast times. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's a very competitive event. So we hope tomorrow I'll get, I'll up my game. So, so like you're in the last week, did you, did you have any, like, was anyone telling you like, hey, don't worry, it'll come by Thursday? Or did you have any, like, were you worried it was going to come at all? I knew it was coming. I knew I'm traveling on Thursday morning. Yeah. <laughs> I had already given up mm -hmm. coming here because like on Thursday, I'm supposed to run on Friday. So. Yeah. I had already given up, but to see, God works miracles. <laughs> yeah. So in a perfect scenario, when would you have arrived in Eugene? On Tuesday. Tuesday, that yeah. was the plan to be Tuesday. Uh, yeah, okay. the plan was arrived on Tuesday, and then uh, just do some training and stuff like that, and then run on, on Friday. And Does your body feel like it's nighttime right now, or is your clock all screwed up? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a, a bit of uh, fatigue, and <laughs> <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> And did you sleep much on Wednesday night, the night before you left Kenya? Yeah, no, 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 I never slept much because it was all about thinking about the visa issue. Yeah. And you see your phone is ringing and buzzing like every hour because everybody's calling and asking what's up. So never got much of sleep. Yeah. 
And you, you said that you, you flew from Nairobi. Do you, do you live in Nairobi? Or do you yeah, live? yeah, I live in Nairobi. What's the bracelet, the 98? Oh, this one. This one is my season best, 985, and then this is my personal best, 977. I hope I break this. You get a new bracelet before you leave? Yeah, I hope it. I, if I break it, I'll remove and throw it on track. <laughs> <laughs> you beat Fred Curly before, can you do it again? Uh, I hope so. He's proven to be in good shape, so I hope tomorrow I'll be better. What is it about, like, what, what has Fred done the past year in your mind that's made him kind of ascend as he has? Sorry? I said, what has Curly done over the past year that's really made him, um, you know, be, Improve. Over, very tough the sport. Yeah, improve. For Kali or me? Fred, for Kali. Like, uh, when I'm you watch him. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, you've I'm had sure. an unbelievable two years of improvement. <laughs> what have you done? Um, uh, let's say COVID was a blessing in this guy because we trained like seven months without any competition. So that was a big help. Do you ever play rugby anymore? No, I mean, just miss it. <laughs> I miss rugby. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank so you so much for your time. Thank you.